So over here you can see that I have an object and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an, an animation to this. So I'm going to uh, go around and select out the, the layer transform tool right here and add in a keyframe. So I'm going to click on add keyframe and I'm going to go around over here and click and drag this. So you can see that this is the center point. So let me just move this around right over here until you have this as you can see. So right now I have a certain motion and if you want to work around more with how the motion works then you can use something called the motion editor. So when this is selected and the layer transform tool is selected you can see uh, the open function editor right here which brings up the motion editor right here and you can see the path x y and z right here. So you can see that this is the line right here and as I move this uh, you can see that this is the uh, um, uh, this is the Z axis right here. So this actually comes to the front as you can see. So you can see that you have this type of motion. So if I were to bring this um, brim, uh, right here, so you can see that the object mo moves in the Z axis. Similarly over here you can see that this is the Y axis right here and this one right here that is the uh, X axis right here just like this. So now uh, what you can do is you can change around the curve of this as well. So you can go around over here and you can select these and then what you can do is let me just go around over here and then select this one right here and then select uh, let's say hold shift right here to select everything. So what we can do is instead of having a linear animation right here we can go around and turn this into a curve. So you can see that now uh, there, there's a curve added to it. So now you can see that if I were to go around and press the play button you can see that it moves on like this. You can also go around and move the function editor uh, right over here. So let me just uh, use uh, um, the function editor right here and it comes up over here as you can see on the same place as the timeline. So what you can do is you can select out all right here. Let me hold shift and select out all right here just like this. Hold this, hold this and hold this. You can see that uh, instead of having a regular curve you can also turn this into uh, let's say something like this. So you can see that there's an ease in and ease out applied over there. So if I were to press the play button you can see that the smoothness in animation actually plays around just like that because we selected this. You can go around and select this as well. So let me just um, hold everything over here. Let me just hold this, hold this right here. You can see that this is what you have. You can turn this into an A's in and A's out over here as well. Press the play button and you can see that there's an A's in and A's out applied to this right here. So you can go around select out different things as you want. So you can see that you have the parts right here. You can go around and um, select out uh, these things right here just like this. And you can also go around and move these out. So you can see that this is what you have right here. This is what you have right here. You can also use these lines right here just like this to move around the curve according to how you want it and the motion curves uh, get edited accordingly right here. Now let me just go around right here and select out all of the points and over here you can see that this is what you have. So let me just go around onto a softer S curve and now what will happen is that you will have the smooth motion right here. So acceleration and deacceleration is here. If you don't want any of it then you can go around hold shift and select all right here and then you can select out the straight line over here as well. Press the play button and you can see that there's this straight line over there again. So you can move this right here and you can see that this is what you have just like that. So that is how you can work around with the motion editor and change around the uh, animation curve according to how you want to add an A's in and an A's out and use the options right here as well. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.